So in today's video, we're going ghost hunting. Better roll those titles. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video in my series of Day in the Life. This one's a little bit darker, a little bit different than usual. So we've decided to go ghost hunting. And this time we are back at Pluckley Village. Uh, so, we've decided, so we are currently at the Deering Woods, Pluckley Village in Kent. Now I've been here twice before. For the first time it was loads of activity. It was superb. Second time there was nothing at all. Uh, we come to uh, the Deering Woods and we went to the pub as well, which is famous. Um, so Pluckley Village is reportedly one of the most famous uh, haunted places in the UK. Um, so I, you know, I'm not that optimistic. Uh, purely because the second time there's just nothing at all um, so let's get going as we go deep into the woods I just want to show you as well just how dark it is so I'm going to turn my light off now so this is currently how dark it is so as you can see I need my light so let's go ghost hunting at Deering Woods okay so one of the stories for the Screaming Woods um, was a headless horseman uh, who apparently was gutted by the side of a tree. Um, I don't know enough about that particular story to, to know exactly what tree it was. There's an awful lot of trees here, um, but that's the myth anyway. Okay, so I'm just about to interview uh, Sean, um, who loves his ghoulies. So here we go. So, so Sean, what have you got to say about the Screaming Woods? It's one of the places in the UK. It holds uh, the Guinness Book of Records for being the most not only the haunted woods but the haunted village. Um, there's plenty of paranormal activity that goes on in here. There's been times when we've been up here, we've been walking through and you can hear screams that come out of literally nowhere and you know you're the only set of people that are in basically in the woods so you can't pinpoint what direction it, it's coming from. So you all set for a good night? Yep, definitely. Right, let's get deep into these woods. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to conduct a small EVP session right now. Um, so we're quite deep into the woods. So if there's any spirits present, any spirit beings present, can you please make yourself known to me? Can you please talk to my device that I'm holding in my hand? Please look at the light. Please communicate with us. Can you please tell me your name? Please tell me why you're here. Do you like it that we that we're on your patch? That we're in your woods? Personally, I don't think these woods are that scary. So do you want to show me? Do you want to prove it? Do you want to prove it to me? Maybe I'll ask the question again with the light off. Okay, so does anyone present? Can you please communicate? Please talk into the device that I'm holding in my hand. Please let me know your name, why you are here. Okay, so please use me to communicate. Communicate through me. Okay, so I'm now on my own, so communicate with me now. There's no one else by me at the minute, so communicate. If there's anyone present, please tell me your name. Just want to communicate with you. Please just give me something, give me your name. Is there anything you want to tell me? Is there anything you want to ask me? Do you want me to leave? I'm not ready to leave just yet, so please communicate with me. Okay, so we're currently standing in your woods. If anybody is present, can you please make yourself known to me? Please let me know your name. Give me something. I'm not ready to leave your woods yet. Please tell me your name. 
Have you got anything you want to say to me, communicate through me? What can I do to help you? What message do you have for me or someone else? Dog sniffing. I've got one name, Sydney. Sydney. Sydney, if that's you, can you please give me a sign that you are listening, that you are here? Give me something, Sydney. Can you talk in behind me? Over there, just heard something behind me. Got anything you want to say to me? So, so far I've been massively unimpressed. You've done nothing to show me that you're here. So yet again, Screaming Woods is turning out to be a waste of time. So yeah, I'm goading you. So if there's anyone there, if these woods are as scary as what, what the Guinness Book of Records say, then prove it, show me, tell me, speak to me, anything. Give me a sign, give me anything that you are here. place you want to go, you know that we're in? The Royal Church? Yeah. You liked it there, didn't you? Malice. Malice, right. Let's let let let's talk let's talk to Andy about this malice. Andy, what have you gotta say about the screaming woods? So far absolutely nothing coming up but on the spirit box we've got a few words and they all they're saying is malice but not actually showing us anything at the moment. Disappointing yet again, screaming words are letting me down. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more EVP session. So this is your last chance now to prove to me, prove to us that something is here, that you are here. So if anyone is present, can you please make yourself known to me? Please tell me your name. Please talk into the device that I'm holding in my hand. Please tell me my name. Please tell me anyone's name who's currently with me. Because so far, I don't think there's anything here. I don't think there's anyone here. Sydney, who are you? You're not here. Talk to me. I'm going to keep this rolling for a minute or so. I won't speak, so just talk into the device. It's all yours. <coughs> just add something over there. I'm really deep into the woods now. Oh. Yeah. yeah. A bat. Yeah. Okay. What? Oh shit! Yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just drawn to my light, is it? Probably the scariest thing to happen so far in the screaming woods in Pluckley. Okay, so disappointed by the screaming woods. Um, yes, it feels eerie, but it is pitch black. I'm standing standing in the middle of a forest in a wood, and it's pitch black. Um, no phone reception always makes it a little bit eerie too. Um, there's a bat flying around. And that is probably as scary as it's getting right now. Um, I think we're going to move on to a second location, which could well be the... It'll be the Great Pub, which is next door to the Black Horse Pub, which has been closed eerily for some time at the moment. Has it? Yes, it has. Oh, is um, that because of Covid? 
Yeah, I think oh, it is. Right, okay. Yeah, because of the COVID. I wait for all this to get over and done with. But um, we've heard the odd thing in here tonight. But this has probably been the only time where we haven't had any real proper activity. There's been a few shadows around. Yeah, disappointing again. Yeah. To be honest, I've come to the Screaming Woods now three times. This is my third time. Um, and on every occasion, what was that? Was that them? I just heard like a scream or... That weren't them. There's a bit of a strange that, noise. That was a train. Um, can I... Okay, so we've arrived at the village now. So I've got the pub, which is behind me, which is closed. Um, so it's closed due to COVID, unfortunately. So I'm talking very quiet because there's quite a few residential houses just to my right. Um, we do have a graveyard as well, just at the back of the pub. Um, but it's a very, very quiet village. So we're just going to have a little wander around. Um, I'm not honestly expecting to, to get anything. Um, but we're just going to have a bit, bit of a wander. <laughs> deep into the graveyard at the minute and already it feels far far more I don't know eerie than what the woods I don't think I'm ever gonna go in the woods again because the woods are a waste of time um, but we need to be very respectful here obviously because it's a graveyard um, but too because it's a residential area as well um, but it's definitely for me the highlight of Plockley village Okay, so I'm going to conduct a little EVP session. Um, so again, with absolute respect, um, if anyone wants to communicate and talk to me, please tell me your name, please tell me what message you have, please tell me what I can do to help. Um, I am here with the most utter, utter respect. Um, but if there's anyone at all who's listening to me, please talk into the device I'm holding in my hand. Please look at the light. Um, please communicate with me. I'm going to leave this running for 60 seconds. village and the woods so this is the dairy family too and how many people are coming here about four and you've got their children just over in this corner here which is about five wow so time to be respectful but this should be interesting okay so on the back of that i'm just going to do a very quick evp session um so again if there's anyone present please make yourself known to me so anyone who wants to pass on a message or talk to me, communicate, if you want me to leave, just say and I will leave. Um, I'm here with utter respect. Um, if you don't want me here, then I'll gladly go. But please just let me know that you're here. Please communicate, talk into the device I'm holding in my hand. Very eerie in the 
he's doing bit. So I've just come out of the deering tomb um, and there were some definite strange voices when I was running an EVP session. Um, some very eerie sounds have come from there. But as I said, it feels incredibly eerie around here. Currently in the middle, not in the middle, but I'm in a section on my own. I've got someone approaching. But uh, very eerie in this part. today's video so it's only a very sh short video today purely because um, Screaming Woods Pluck League game was a massive disappointment uh, Screaming Woods there's just nothing there at all uh, doesn't feel remotely eerie uh, graveyards as all graveyards probably do uh, did feel very eerie there very very cold but again there's nothing massively paranormal there I do need to review the footage um, in more detail uh, but I, I think I'm done now with Pluckley. I've been there three times uh, on all three occasions. Not an awful lot has really happened. Um, so I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. So please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please as well down below. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I'm going to see you all very soon in the next episode of Mal's Vlogs. See you soon. Bye. They call